Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey. If anybody is new and joining me here for the first time, thank you so much. I do live Get Ready With Me's on Sunday mornings at 9.30 GMT. I will leave my Instagram handle for you here. So if you feel like hanging out, it's a pretty cool place. I don't want you to miss out and um, that'd be really cool. It's actually my favorite thing to do because I love the interaction and the people that hang out there are really nice. So yeah, please feel free to come along. My slogan is believable brown. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> my slogan is believable brown beauty. Man, I should have picked a better one, but basically that's the kind of makeup I like to do. Also, I like to use makeup in slightly unconventional ways at times. So yeah, if that sounds like something you'd like, please keep watching. You know, like how you can have writer's block. I feel like I have got makeup artist block at the moment because there are so many things I want to do and I don't know which one to do first. So really and truly, I can't tell you what this is gonna be. Like you will know because you would have seen the thumbnail, but I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just gonna rock with it. So first of all, we're gonna start off with skin and I'm using my Cover FX Power Play Foundation in G100. I'm not using much because I quite like a more raw looking skin at the moment. So I just use it to kind of even out, but not massively. I mean, I put a pea size amount, not even a pea. It was like the size of, hmm, like a popcorn, <laughs> half a popcorn. I don't know. I just feel like my skin looks nicer with less on it. Maybe it's age because I'm getting old. Um, then I am taking Amand um, Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS. I'm just gonna pop a couple of dots of this on my face. I'm using a Zoeva Face Shape Brush just to blend that in. I'm taking a tiny bit more just on my lids. Then we're gonna move on to brows. One thing I do know is that I want soft brows like lighter colored as well so i'm gonna brush up struggalina and then the good eyebrow and then just quickly fill them in i always start on my thinnest brow the weakest one and make it look like this brow as much as possible and i'm just using little hair like strokes and filling in the gaps because i said it before and i'll say it again brows are hair not fur so I don't know why anyone would like to have a solid brow the whole way long. Yep, that's me. Mm, this cap's a bit big here. And then fill in my easy brow. And then today I think I do want a little bit of brow highlight. So I'm just using a bit more of my foundation. And then on my jaw, on my chin, should I should say, I've got a little bit of dermatitis here, which you can probably read in the camera. I'm trying not to use too many products in the area until it clears up. Um, somebody, I think it was on my live, I didn't notice the comment when it was happening, but they said about using a hydrocortisone, but I wanna to get to the root cause of why I have it. I think it's hormonal from when I was pregnant, um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Then I'm taking my Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate palette in, int in Intensity 2 and just popping on a tiny bit of highlight here, a little bit on my brow bone as well. Okay, so today I am really torn about what to do for my makeup. I don't really know what I'm doing. You will know by the time this goes up because the thumbnail will have the finished image, but I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing today. So let's just see what happens. Sometimes this happens to me where I'm just like, oh, I don't know what I'm playing at. I'm gonna take, this brush is from Bedellium Tools and it is a 153 brush. I had a feeling that I wanted to do something like this today. So, oh, I forgot to say the product that I'm using. Let me just blend this before it dries. And then I can let you know what it was.
the product is um, Oh Lady. It's a liquid lipstick, but I'm using it as a liner slash shadow today. And now, the hard bit, doing the second eye. So. Sometimes with things like this, you just have to kind of go for it. Because if you overthink it, then you definitely get your placement wrong. Oh yeah, it's pretty, pretty spot on. So I'm just gonna blend this. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with how that came out. Oh, don't, guys, this is, um, I think this is just more like a creative thing. I'm not really expecting anyone to go out and do this. Well, you might want to, but I don't know, I was just feeling like super creative and I just wanted to do something fun. I would actually wear this makeup out in real life. But other people probably wouldn't feel as comfortable. Hmm. This side though, I think, hold on, let me just double check. No, we're good there. Yeah, this side's got more product. So what I'm gonna do is just take a bit more. Actually, I think I prefer it with less. So I'm gonna take a tiny bit of powder over there. I'm just using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in dark, just to tone it down. Yeah, I prefer it softer. Then I'm taking Feline Cold Pencil, and I'm just running this in my waterline, and literally like onto where the lashes are. And then I'm taking a pencil brush and just smudging that out. Then I'm taking a little, this is <laughs> makeup death, uh, a little brush from Hakuhodo that was white, but I just want to use it to, to soften this and smudge this coal a bit lower. Then I am taking this shadow from um, Urban Decay, it's called Moon Spoon. It's like a gunmetal kind of colour. And then I'm going to take a little brush and I'm just going to pop that on my lower lash line but literally just here. So if I look in the camera, maybe you can see, it's just like catching a little bit of shimmer in the middle of my eye. There, I just moved the camera a bit closer so you can see. Uh, yeah, if I look up, you should be able to see a little bit of glitter just in the middle. Um, I am taking some clear lip gloss and I'm just popping that on my lid. Now, when my eyes are like this, my socket line is really far, but as I lower it, it almost touches the gloss. So I know to leave, I don't know if you can see, yeah, focus, yeah. There's a little gap of about like four millimeters. So I don't take my gloss all the way up so that it doesn't ruin it. But to be honest, like, I don't really mind if gloss messes up my makeup. I kind of like it. And do the same on this side. And I have this lovely palette that I got from And Other Stories. And I, I mean, it's coming up a lot paler on camera than it is in real life. They're not that light. Oh yeah, that's a bit better. A bit more of a truer representation of the color. So this palette is called Taupe Cherie. And I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna mix a couple of colors. And I've used all the brushes that I need to do this. I'm just gonna clean one here. I'm going to start off with um, the purple first. And this is from the natural makeup range, so that's one of the reasons why I picked this up. But I don't think I've actually used it yet. I'm going to pop that in the inner corner. Hmm, it's not bright enough. So hold on one sec. So I'm going to take this colour here, the paler one, and pop that over the top. Yes, that's what I wanted. Ooh. I'm gonna add some gloss over the glittery bit underneath as well. 
<laughs> right, I'm going to take this little liner brush and a little bit of this gloss and just tuck it in and pat it over the, gl um, the glitter on the bottom. Yeah, that looks cool. Hmm, I like this. Now for mascara. I'm taking my extended play mascara from MAC and I'm just going to pop that on my top lashes. So that's my first layer of mascara and whilst that's, hmm, no I'm just going to go straight in actually. Don't leave your, if, if you layer mascaras don't leave them too long otherwise it doesn't give you the effect you're looking for. So now I'm just going straight over it with my In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash. Gosh, I'm looking at this makeup now and I'm just like, I don't know if that inner corner highlight, if I really love it anymore. I'm gonna take it off. Yeah, I just think that it has more impact without it. So I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe in there. Yeah, and get rid of it. Sometimes like less, <laughs> less is more. I'm laughing because in my in my last video, if you haven't watched it, I'll leave um, a card up for you here so you can have a look. Um, that video was so, so the total opposite of this one. It was literally like, it's a, it's a no makeup makeup video, but I call it barely their beauty. There was like hardly anything on. And in that one, I said less is more as well. And I just find it funny that that still applies to this, even though the makeup is completely different. Yeah. And instead of a coloured highlight, I'm going to use texture instead. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of gloss. Yeah, in the inner corner. I'm not putting any mascara on my lower lashes on purpose because I don't want to lose this detailing. So that's going to stay like that. Now we are going to move on to blush. This was a recent discovery in my last video. I used this as blusher as well. And it's the Fenty Beauty um, Unveil. Stunner lip paint. I didn't think it would show up the way it did when I first used it. And I was just like, oh, this is a pleasant surprise because it looks really brown, but when you buff it out, it has got this subtle pinky tone to it. And I think with a makeup look like this, where there's so much going on on the eyes, everything else kind of needs to be really soft in comparison. Now moving on to lips, I am gonna take Hmm. What do I do for a lip? Nude? Pink? Dark? Hmm. Welcome to my life, guys. Welcome to my head. I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do a proper lip. So I'm taking Costa Riche eye pencil. And I use this as my lip liner all the time, pretty much. Then I'm using buff lipstick from Illamasqua. Yep. Yeah. It's a very cool pink with a slightly grey undertone to it, but I really like this colour. So just do the lip roll. And then... I'm taking my Bobbi Brown lip gloss in buff and I'm just going to work this over the top. So remember in the beginning I said I wanted my brows to be softer. I'm actually going to use this Hourglass um, brow gel and it is the colour Dark Brunette just to lift my brows and make them a little bit lighter in colour. So I'm going backwards and forwards and then brushing them up and it just knocks them back a little bit. I don't even know if you can see but it definitely takes like the darkness of my brows down a little bit. I'm not going for like a bronze or a brown brow but I just don't want them to be as dark as they are. I think I'm going to add a tiny bit more highlight. Yeah, and I'm going to put a bit a bit more colour on the cheek, a tiny bit. So I'm going back to the old lady, it's not a new product, and I'm just going to put baby dot 
baby dot. Yeah, I just wanted a little bit more colour just here. Not the whole way up, just there. Mm -hmm. And then back finally to my Tom Ford highlighter. Now be careful, I do have pores here. So sometimes using a highlighter in that area isn't the best thing to do. But when I blend this in, I'm gonna kind of stay away from the places where I know I have lots of pores and literally just blend it in there. Oh, that's it. This was fun. Um, thank you for watching this video because it's really hard when you do YouTube to not just do what you think is going to be popular, right? Like what people are going to want to watch. But sometimes, every once in a while, I just need to do something that lets me be free. Like I'm not trying to... Um, like not every look that I like to wear is wearable to the masses. For me, this is a makeup I would quite happily wear, but I can understand that most people wouldn't feel comfortable in this kind of look. But I still need to do them because I want my channel to really be about the makeup that I like to wear. Like today, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do when I sat down. Most of the time when I do my videos, I've kind of planned it and thought about it in my head and I know what direction I'm gonna take it in. But today, I didn't have that. And so, I just sat down and let this come out and sometimes I need to do that because then I feel like I am literally just being the most unfiltered I can be on a heavily edited platform but do you know what I mean like I didn't plan this makeup today I just did it as it went and this is generally how I work when I work with clients when I work with brides I don't really have a plan like a structured plan I just have a feeling and I just go off that like 9.9 .9 times out of 10, when people just let me do what I feel is the best thing to do, they get the best of me, they get the best makeup, they're the happiest, I'm the happiest, and it's a winner, like everyone's happy all round. Fun. And actually, what I think I'm gonna do is I will show you how you could um, adapt this makeup into something much more wearable. So, yeah. Oh, but then this bit comes at the end of my video. Hmm, where am I gonna edit this? Where am I gonna insert this um, chain? So now I'm gonna show you how you could do less and make it maybe a little bit more wearable for you if this liner is a bit too much. So I just have some coconut oil on the back of my hand and a little cotton bud. And I'm using this because the lipstick is um, uh, a retro matte liquid lipstick. So they, they don't come off with just regular cleansers. So I'm using the oil to break it down first. And then I flip the cotton bud around and take the clean side and literally just wipe it away. Like he always wakes up on cue. Bug! I'm gonna pause, I'll be back. I'm saying he always wakes up on cue. He was supposed to have an hour's nap and he literally slept for an hour without me having to go in and wake him up, so yeah. Just to clean that all away. You okay, bug? Mm. Did you have a nice nap? Mm. Yeah? Okay. Then I'm gonna take a tiny bit of concealer. Oh, where's my brush gone? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Far down just because there's a little bit of a pink tint in that area. So, a little bit of concealer. And just neutralize that in here. So if you wanted to, you could just leave it here. Are you comfortable there? Mm -hmm. Sit on mum's lap properly, there you go. And then if this was still too much, you could literally just get a cotton bud. 
and just get rid of the tail. Then I'm going to take my finger and just repat my gloss and bring it a little bit higher now that I don't have that line there anymore. And there you have it. You know, you could just do this instead of all the extra stuff that I did. If you wanted to even more, you could just take off this gloss here, just use your finger. I mean, when I say take off, you just wouldn't do those parts of the makeup that I did. Let's take the gloss off here. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. Showing you how you can manipulate my crazy into a little bit more conservative, but I like both of those types of makeup. Like I would happily wear this, but I would happily wear the other. But if that was a little, little bit too much for you, you could just opt for this. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell because YouTube are making you do the most work. Otherwise they don't tell you when the videos go up anymore. And um, yeah, that's it. Take care and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Ready for lunch? Mm-hmm.